author of Tennessee's favorite children's book, The Little Orange Tea. <laughs> Says with UT playing heavily favorite Alabama in Neyland Stadium tomorrow, everyone needs a little bit of hope. Oh, it's so cute too, <laughs> isn't it? That's right. George Bovey says one of the lines in his book is appropriate for this weekend's game. It says, remember to be patient. Things will work out for you. That's appropriate for anyone, anytime. True. Anytime, especially in 2020. Yes. <laughs> WHE 6 on your side reporter Don Dare talked with George about this special book and what all of us can learn from reading it. This is a book aimed at winning the hearts and minds of anyone under the age of eight and becoming lifelong Vol fans. While it may not be flying off the shelves in, say, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the book's author says it is selling quite well in Vol country. Uh, no matter what our football team's doing or our basketball team or COVID's doing, orange and white strong, and a little orange tea just brings and validates the younger folks into the nation. Author George Bovey, an enthusiastic Vol fan, says the fable of the little tea is about life. While he wrote the tale, Knoxville artist Christy Lynch painted the illustrations. Her pictures are amazing. Every one of the pictures in the book is a watercolor painting. Uh, not done in a computer, actually brush painted by her. The story is about the uh, lowercase t, who was a letter from alphabet soup. And he's rejected from alphabet soup, Don, because uh, he was orange. So he's set free. Uh, to find where he belongs. And uh, Little Orange Tea, or Lot, travels all across Tennessee and meets some great characters, Tennesseans, and he jumps off the Chattanooga Choo Choo because he falls in love with the great Sun Sphere. The uh, Sun Sphere is magical, transforming powers, and transforms him from the Little Orange Tea to the Big Power Tea. And he ends up eventually where? Well, he looks off at a Sun Sphere and sees where he belongs, the great Nayland Football Stadium, and there he resides as a Power Tea on the 50-yard line. Listen, it's, uh, it's all about growing our Vol uh, spirit. It's all about growing our Vol nation and creating more uh, future Vols uh, uh, and keeping the stadium full. In addition to that, George says there is the simple message for kids of all ages. Yeah, absolutely. Just to have fun and to read an inspiring story uh, where overcoming obstacles uh, to find your place. Indeed, by the way, George's book has the blessings of the University of Tennessee. They like it. The book is sold at the university's bookstore and others in the area. George says it's read aloud a lot at local schools and teachers. They especially like the fun facts in the back. And you'll even find the words to the Tennessee waltz on the front cover. I was dancing with my daughter. You know that one, don't you? And Bo, you know that song too. It was don't Patty you? Page, right? Yeah, you got it. Oh man, Don's album, by the way, will be dropping soon. <laughs> so watch for that. Thank you, Don. Hey, uh, let's hope the Vols, the ones on the field, can find their own inspiration this weekend as they face the Crimson Tide. Of course.